Hey there, Chris Dale, back once more with another video, this time NADAS18, the web hacking challenges at overthewire.org. Awesome piece of challenges, they're quite fun. And here we have another vulnerability that we got to discover and figure out how to exploit. So before, of course, starting to hack anything, let's just try with the default admin admin logon, because that's what I use everywhere. And it says that we're logged in as a regular user, logged in, logged in as admin to retrieve credentials for NADAS19. So when looking at a login field like this, I'm, 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 most of the time I'm convinced that there's some kind of injection, like SQL injection and so on. So I might be inclined to just try to do like a login bypass for the admin account like this, for example. But then again, you're logged in as regular user, logging as admin for crypto credentials. Then again, this does not seem to work because no matter what I type in here, it always succeeds. So in this case, I think we got to look at what's happening behind the scenes here. So let's go back here and just log on with admin admin and see what happens. <laughs> and first thing we notice here is uh, a cookie PHP session ID 514. That's not a random number, my friends. That's no good at all. So this is my cookie from my previous logins. And when I now log in with admin admin, I get a new cookie, I guess, somewhere. Actually, I did not, so actually just, uh, let's do this, delete the cookies. So just control shift delete, I deleted the cookies. I'm gonna make this request, just hit a refresh here. There's no cookies here. Uh, I don't get no new cookies. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna do a quick log on. Say admin admin again, no cookies here, forward and we get this PHP session identifier that is not a random number at all. So obviously that's not good at all. I mean, for this number here, what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna enumerate everything from zero to 1000, just to see what happens then. So I call these numbers here, these are magic numbers. They, they represent some kind of like state or file or database entry, something that should have been a randomized value like a GUID or UUID, or in this case, like a proper randomized uh, PHP session ID variable. This is not randomized, so I'm just gonna go through numbers here. I'm just gonna go through numbers from zero to a thousand and see what happens. Also, I kinda wanna grab, I kinda wanna grab on the string, um, you're logged in as a regular user. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab on all the stuff within this div here. So beautiful burp suit here allows me to just define what I want to grab for. Click start attack. And you can see this regular user here. It's the same for all the users. So what we're looking for is that we're looking for some kind of entry that does not say that we're logged in as a regular user. Oh, there we go actually on the bottom there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna sort this list here. You are admin, hey. So when given the payload 119, all of a sudden we are logged in as the administrator. So that does the work that we need to do. So uh, basically what I'm gonna do here then is I'm just gonna edit my cookies from Burp Suit. And I'm having a bit of lag here because the previous video is currently exporting. Hit a five and change this number here. Come on. One, one, nine. And then intercept off. Whoop. Severe lags here. I guess that means I gotta open another beer. And one, one, nine, you're admin. And there we go, credentials for next level. Try it out. Uh, so let's do this, paste it in there. Go back here, copy this password. And change this to 19, quick and easy level. So you would expect the difficulty just to just go up, but in this case, it's actually, <laughs> it actually goes back down. And there we go. Mostly the same code as the previous level, but session IDs are no longer sequential. Cool, can't wait for this challenge. Stay in touch, guys. Leave a comment, leave a like, whatever. It most motivates me to create uh, more of these videos. It's very fun for me to get some interaction from the audience. And uh, 
I see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.